Hey there, I'm shooting this quick video to show you how to set up your power meter on a Garmin Edge bike computer. This is the Garmin Edge 520. Um, so you turn it on, you select your mode by hitting the upper right hand button. Um, if you have a workout, you can say skip workout, but you should be able to select your mode. So if you're doing indoor training, just hit the top right button to select your indoor mode. And then you should see a screen like this with a bunch of data fields. Might not look exactly like this, but what you want to do is always hit the upper right hand button to get into the menu. And then from here on the 520, you can scroll down to status page. On the other computers from the 530s, you just scroll down for sensors. But once you get to the status page on the 520, you can scroll down to connecting to sensors. Hit the upper right button again. And then here you should see what sensors you're connected to. Now, if the icon is a solid green, like it's not blinking, that means it's fully connected. If you see the icons blinking between gray and green, that means you are searching for that type of sensor. Now, if you have a power meter, it should look like a weight. So on the very bottom here, you can see this one looks like a weight. That would be a power meter. If you're not yet connected to your power meter, you can select the top option, add sensor, and then hit that upper right button again, and then hit search all. And then it should search for a power meter if there is one nearby. So I'm gonna see if I can wake mine up by spinning my pedals on my bike. And now you can see here it has power and cadence. For me, that's gonna be the 47599 is the anti-ID number that's etched on the side of the pedal. It's laser engraved, so you can confirm which power meter it is. And then once you've selected the one that you wanna to connect to, so for example, I'm gonna select that 47599, go back to the top, hit add sensor. Now it should show that 47599. I can click on it. Here you can see the sensor details. You can turn on a calibration prompt, which is good to leave on. So basically every time you ride, you should calibrate it. Um, it'll prompt you and all you do is you just uh, let the bike calibrate itself by not stepping on the pedals for a couple of seconds. You can also see the battery status. You can see a lot of other information. Um, so you can calibrate from here as well if you wanna calibrate your sensors. So there's a lot of different things that you can adjust on here. Um, and then once you wanna add and know if your pedals are working, on the screen here where you have your data fields, you might not have a power data field and you might need to add that. So to add that, what you're gonna do is again, hit the upper right hand button and then scroll down to data fields and then here you can pick all, these are all the different pages um, or all, all the different fields on that data page. So for example, it tells me what field one, two, three, four, I've got a whole bunch of data fields here. I've already added both power three second average and average power. But if I wanna add the um, additional data field, what I could do is at the top here, it says layout preview eight fields. You could actually go and increase that, change it to nine fields or additional fields, as many as you would like to have. And then you can go and customize that extra field. So for example, I'm gonna do it by scrolling down to the bottom here. Instead of lap distance, I'm gonna go down and scroll. What you wanna look for is any of the power data fields. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down, Let's see if I can find my power data fields. I hit the upper right hand button. And it has all these different data fields I can play around with adding, but the main one that I'm gonna look for is either power, or what I like to also look at is power as a percentage of my FTP. So if I've updated the FTP on my Garmin profile, it'll show me at what percent of my FTP I'm currently riding. So once you've selected that by hitting the upper right button again, you can just back out of everything. So the bottom right button here is the back button. So you hit that a couple times. And then you should see if you added your power field, if you added you know three second power, average power, or power percent of FTP, those are the three main ones that I like to look at. Um, once you start pedaling, you should see the numbers populate. 
So hopefully if the power meter is working, there'll be a little green flashing light down on the um, pedal itself, and that'll let you know the pedal is working. And then you can also, should be able to start seeing your power number show up on here. So hopefully that helps. Give it a whirl. And if you have any questions, post in the comments below. Thanks, guys.